saying no matter what happens, 100 million fish are going to die? As soon as the fish disappear, we'll lose half of the species of birds. It isn't in the cards with the balance of water to continue to deliver Colorado River water. There's no water. They've taken half our water. They're not going to give it back. If nothing is done, you're going to see the sea shrink to half of its current surface area. The clock's ticking until 2017, when we'll see these rapid reductions of inflow to the sea. Time is now for action. The time to begin cleaning up the salt sea is long overdue. The reason things haven't been done is because we don't know what to do. If all we do is continue to study the problem, we're going to end up with the worst documented environmental disaster in history. The federal government, the state government, has taken now years, decades to do nothing. And because we're sitting here talking about it now, that means it's not going to be done in time to save this shrinking shoreline. 16 years, $40 million more studies, we're still in the same place, nothing's happened. The sea's been studied to death, and I'll just be kind of blunt so people can make money. Once it's on the brink of destruction, it's like, oh, let's save it. There's gonna be so much more money because they waited so long to do it. If we don't start doing something, there's gonna be catastrophic problems. The fate of the struggling Salton Sea is a hot topic as the water dwindles, exposing lake bed and sending unhealthy dust into the air. Exposed lake bed will release wind-blown contaminants containing selenium, arsenic, and pesticides. That's a toxic soup beneath and in the soil. As a mother of two children, that scares the heck out of me. You're already noticing dust in the air, huh? Living in it now. I wake up in the morning with sand. This is going to impact all of us within 100 miles of the basin. We're easily within range of these dust storms. It would make a lot of people sick. It would kill people. We cannot afford to let that happen.